following day, we headed to a place called Honeymoon Harbor, where us boys paddleboarded to the island and worked hard to make a river wave. They're trying to make a wave. They're trying to make a, a, a river wave. <laughs> it won't work, but that's okay. They don't know that. Uh, Captain, Captain Camden, no. the dinghy captain. Okay, that's fair. Banana pancakes back there, hanging out. On the Leah. What's up? What's up? Guys, <laughs> entertain themselves. I don't want to go on an island by itself, it's kind of coming down. You can take a shower now? I just did, on the way back. Oh. <laughs> I need to. <laughs> Whoa! He's lost. Come on, bud. Wrong way. No. I mean, maybe a little. You don't want the anchor to be like that, right? Because then what will happen is it'll push up, push up, push up, and then you'll get stuck. Did you guys notice that? You saw the dinghy got stuck in the sand, right? So we don't want to do that, do we? So in order to not get it stuck in the sand, what you got to do...
Harbor. We're going by Gun Key, little Gun Key lighthouse here. And then on our right through the rain is Cat Key. Can't really see it. And we are headed to Fairy Island. So, a little stormy. We are headed out of Honeymoon Harbor. We're gonna go across the Bahamas Bank over to the Berry Islands. It's like 8.30, so we didn't get an early start. So we'll probably just sleep on the bank somewhere tonight, uh, which could be a little bit rolly because that hurricane's rolling through in Florida, which is why we've got like 25 mile an hour wind right now. It's just been raining all night, big gusts, probably up to 35 or 40. And it's just a lot windier than we expected here. So we'll go east, spend the whole day sailing east. We have a wind out of the south, kind of southeast. That so should take us across okay. And uh, just gonna find a cut to get through here. Around 80 miles, 75 miles, something like that. And uh, I think it's probably, we'll probably go for like 10 hours a day. Um, as soon as the sun starts to set, we'll probably find a spot and just anchor out there on the open. Uh, bank, so it's about 10 to 15 feet deep across the whole thing and uh, We're just gonna find a spot and hope it's calm. I'm gonna try to get as far over as I can um, as far over east as Oh gosh uh, Andros Island and try to get tucked in behind that a little bit and hope that there's a little bit less wind because of that island But I don't think it'll do much those islands are pretty low lying so Raising a sail? No, no, not yet. And why did you stop? I wanted to see how choppy it was. How do we put the flag up? You want to just turn around and anchor back at that island? Yeah, it's just going to be windy. Isn't it going to be windy wherever we go? Yeah. Not terrible, but it's moving. But also not great. I can tell. Oh, you can see it's kind of chill, but it's just like the perfect gap between waves to just have us rock. And it's four feet deep. Now it's five. This shows six feet deep right there. Pretty shallow. Interesting dichotomy between what a parent faces out sailing. Like, this is my reality right now. Wind and waves and nasty and pouring down rain. And my, my seat here is just soaking wet. My covered seat, by the way. Completely covered. But it just rains through that mesh. So that's my reality. And then... This is this reality. Kids are just vibing, enjoying some games and music. Anyway, so that's what we got. So I'm sure it's nothing for the salty seaman sailor, but I'm not that. And right now, this is intimidating. Quick with water. Yeah, so that's that. Kind of crazy. Thank you. 
it's opening. Tied on the front. It was mine. And I checked it, and they were all tied off, but it just loosened, 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 and then it came untied. Drug down the side, wrapped the prop, so halfway through this crop, quarter way through this crossing, engine died. And uh, out here, luckily, it was a little stormy, so. But now we stopped, we, we anchored because it's not that deep, and now I'm going to dive underneath. And Face your fear. Face my fear, go. Oh We've done it once. I did it last time we went out. Yeah, I'm not. Like this is like this. Just get in already. I want to swim. This kid. Man, it's cool. Isn't it like five feet deep to put that? Oh, there's a giant crab right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Nervous, watch your head, baby. Watch your head. Keep a little tension on this, okay. just so it doesn't get wrapped around anything. Let me go down as I go down, but hold okay. it. Okay. Let go of it. Oh, watch your head. got done diving underneath the boat and cutting the rope off the port side in, uh, prop. I got most of it but there's still some left on there which I'm a little bit worried about just because there's a seal there on that sail drive. Um, so I'll have to just keep an eye on that. Uh, less than ideal and makes me a little bit worried about going forward but we're going to continue going forward just because the storm is behind us so we'd rather go in the direction away from it. But uh, yeah, hated doing that. Uh, just because I don't like diving underneath the boat. Um, and it was big waves, and it was just a bunch of up and down hitting against the bottom of the boat, so it was not the best conditions for it. So a little bit unsafe, not my preferred thing to have to do, but um, reminds me, I, I already checked the whole boat, I did a walk around, looked at everything, it was tied up nicely, but uh, just reminds me that probably need to recheck it and teach everybody how to tie off the lines just a little bit better. 
um, just so that they don't come undone. So they were all tied off, that's the bummer. They just, with these big waves, they just slowly worked themselves uh, loose and came undone. So it happened. It's been a rough day so far and uh, only going like three knots, just into the wind, into the, into the waves. So it's been pretty, pretty slow and arduous day. But we, uh, in that 30 or 40 minutes we were down, we, we lost like an hour and a half's worth of time forward progress with the wind and waves blowing us backwards until we finally just anchored and stopped so uh, it was terrible but glad it's over Precious thing in the world, and we named him Pip. Or squeaks, or squeaks. Come on, wash tonight. All dad takes a little nap. Chilling with E, staying up with me. And little Pip. Pip is our new bird. He's, he's just chilling. There is some serious lightning going on out there, and thunder, and it's so scary. It's pitch black outside. And Cam's down there, super sick. And Leah's down there, same thing. We're just chilling. Been watch. Probably not a good idea considering I usually tend to mess everything up, but wish us luck. later he's still hanging with me he's taking this taking a little nap but still up here navigating the boat sail upwind oh, it's been a rough go this is the calmest seas we've had Amy was a trooper she took a like 9 to midnight shift and then this morning at 7.30 7 something like that 
picked up for me, so we can go in this last hour or two. And then uh, the kids came up here throughout the night and helped, but it was rough. We went across the Bahama Bank from Bimini to the Berry Islands. We're just now pulling into the Berry Islands. Um, it, was, uh, it was fun. Fun, not fun. Fun because it's over. Terrible the entire way. But now we're done and uh, we're moving on. Join us next week while we explore the Berry Islands.